Deborah has climbed the ladder to art success in high heels. Like no other woman has done before, she has done more for women and the paintbrush than anybody else. Shaping women for our time, ensuring they never go back to the kitchen sink again. There is something Wonder Woman-esque about her colourful pictures that makes you believe the girl is the superhero who triumphs, not with punches or kicks, but with love. She seems to inspire hope for everybody, not just women, but for the man who desires the woman as well. It is all about love and falling in love. Birds and bees do it. Everybody does it. She paints it. Deborah paints not with a paintbrush but with a feather because she tickles us. She makes us laugh. These are paintings that you will fall in love with and fall in love by. Even the fashion illustrator from the haute couture world of major designers, René Gruyot, makes Azapardi want to paint. It's his elegant, economic use of line. Like Gruyot, Azapardi draws from real-life models too. Beautifully honed Ralph Lauren models with pert breasts and firm thighs can be seen to be as iconic as Leonardo's Mona Lisa, Warhol's Monroe, or Goya's The Naked Maha. Except each of Azapardi's portraits has three faces. One facing the past of art history, one facing our time, the here and now, and one facing tomorrow, the future. David A. Rowe, executive chairman of fine art publisher Felix Rosenstiel's widow and son, puts it this way. Deborah's wonderful imagination, along with her dedication to perfecting her style and her exceptional use of colour, coupled with an understanding of pop art with a twist, means she will never go out of fashion. Her work captivates the cultural mood of the late 20th and early 21st century. Azapardi will be an historic icon 50 and 100 years from now on. Today, Deborah's images have been licensed and sold across the globe and are found in millions of homes worldwide. Her most iconic image, Shush, is a best-seller, reaching stores in more than 30 countries. Deborah's limited edition prints have been sold internationally and her playful pictures adorn the walls of many collectors worldwide. Deborah has been dubbed the Queen of British Pop Art. Long may she reign!